Oh god. Sorry, that was a little late. Hey everybody, welcome to, um, my next Side Show Saturday project. This will be NES Remix, if you can't tell by all the crazy retro things in the title. So yeah, I decided to do something a little different from what I've done before on Side Show Saturday since, uh, well, the indie thon's begun. And I wanted to do something a little different from what uh, Fantasy Star Online was. So, I decided, why, not we, why don't we just go through some challenges in this? It'll be like a Here's some more Brothers Use challenge mode. Which, speaking of that, don't know when I'm going to get back to that, or if I will. Anyway, let's dive in. So, for those of you that don't know what NES Remix is, it's pretty straightforward. You have a whole list of games here that all have you achieving particular goals within the games. And you just have to complete whatever mission is set in there. In them. Some games are timeless classics, like like Mario Brothers or Donkey Kong. But then you have games like Clue Clue Land and Golf. So yeah, it's an odd assortment. Oh, of course, Super Mario Brothers and Legend of Zelda. Not gonna have forgotten those two. Sorry for the slight hiccups. I've been eating a bit. Anyway, so I guess we're. I'll just. I'll just start us off with the uh, balloon fight because uh. Every day you get a times two bonus on one of the games in this package, so take advantage of that every day it comes out. So yeah, the way these challenges will work, um, let me think. Just move things along. You can see I have clear times already, they're like rainbow stars and all that. You get ranks for clearing it, well, whatever. Let's just dive in first. Let me just give you a good example. So let's do NES Remix Challenge 1 for Balloon Fight. Use A or B to fly and pop the enemy's balloon. Wow, that was terrible on my part. <laughs> Usually the first challenge likes to teach you how to play the game, so... As long as you can follow good instructions, it's pretty simple. Haha! <laughs> Once you complete, you get a clear time, and they rank you. You can range from one star to three stars. If you do really well, you can get rainbow stars. Which is the best rank. Of course. Yeah, um... I, there, I will say, there are a few I don't have the rainbow stars on. But, uh... I'll, take, I'll just take the cheap way out. If you want to figure out how to get rainbow stars, just aim for my time. The clear time is here on the left. That'll be a good indication of if you can do it. But, uh, if there's one I ha don't happen to have it for, and, uh, well, oh, hang on, geek, if I don't happen to have the rainbow stars and miss it while I do it on this, I'll put down the time for you of what you need for the rainbow rank, for those of you looking. Ah, thankfully this is a good game to do first, I like Balloon Fight, Balloon Fighter, well, it's, I think it's actually Balloon Fight, whatever. But yeah, I, I love this game. It's very simple. Ooh, rainbow. Nice. It's a simple game to follow, and it's tons of fun. This is a nice game that gives you, like, a little fresh take on NES classics. Which I'm really happy for, because... I actually had an NES. It was pretty, uh... It was pretty cool. Well, the two games I most fondly remember when I had my NES were uh, Super Mario Bros. 3 and uh, Duck Hunt, of course. I also happen to have some uh, Tiny Toons Adventures game, which I also liked. And I can't remember much else. I might have had the original Super Mario Bros., but I don't know. But I learned a Balloon Fighter when uh, my brother had the... Uh, I kind of want to say my brother had the Game Boy Advance um, F-Zero game. It was either that or the e-card reader. I didn't see my brother do it, so I don't know exactly how he did it, but I know that he was able to transfer, like, playing Balloon Fight from whatever he had on his Game Boy Advance to mine, and it was 
That's how I got introduced to it, and I thought it was a very interesting experience. Why are these load times terrible? Oh yeah, by the way, you notice what the points are for? I guess I should explain that too. These points happen to go for your stamp collection. You get these first 10 stamps to start the game, which you can use for Meverse posts. As you get more points, you unlock more stamps. There's 100 to collect. I would hope by the end of this I could have all of them, but I don't know for sure. Either way... Yeah, you're probably going to need to play a lot if you want to get all these. Don't worry. The challenges will probably keep you coming back for a good while. See, I'm only missing two, so I'm not too far off. But if you can see by the point increase and how little the meter's going up, I still got a good ways to go for the last two. But we'll worry about those as it comes. For now, let's go to the next mission. I'm trying to think of how I want to do the episodes for these as well. I mean... I don't know exactly how I want to approach each episode. It might just be either going through a whole game in an episode, depending on time, or a section of each game, or multiple games. It, re it really just depends on how fast I go through everything. I guess I'll just wing it at this point. <laughs> But, you know, it's always fun. Oh, nice! Maybe I should read the instructions. As for uh, how I'll deal with failures... Well... I already thought of a method of how I'm gonna deal with failures. I'm gonna keep going on each mission... Oh, wait. This one? I'll just say this, if you take too long, you'll get only two stars. If you lose all your life, and then continue from the middle of the mission, you can only get one star. I was gonna say I would stop trying, but... Eh. As long as I have the good rank there, I, w I try to get at least three stars on everything, so I at least have that. If I happen to get one star, well... You'll... you'll I want to at least do it to the point where you understand, I guess, like, how to do the entire thing. To make it, like, approachable at the very least. Defeat all the enemies, oh boy. I hope I'm not dulling people by, uh... Ah, crap! I finally died. I hope I'm not dulling people by just, like, going through, like, a game they might have seen before. Don't worry! I got this game for free from Club Nintendo. Yep. That soon-to-be-deceased Club Nintendo. Oh, God. And, uh, you know, it was worth it. Oh, well, I died already. Yeah, I'm good. All right, well, I guess I can explain it now. See, if I happen to die like that, I'm just going to keep going. Aha! But I obliterated him. It's a shame I lost all my hearts. Oh! Okay, then. And I got a new record. Woohoo! Okay, I think the one-star thing might happen if there's, like, multiple stages on a mission. And you happen to lose all your hearts in the middle of one. Because they'll start you back up from that one. Hmm, air. I love air. None shall let the air escape! That's right! None can let the air escape. None. The air is mine, you bastards! Yeah, nah. Eh, I may as well go for a shameless advertisement. Um... In case you guys do enjoy watching me play this game... God damn it. Sorry, I, I, I lost my train of thought. In case you guys do happen to enjoy watching me play Balloon Fighter, you can also check out our co-op channel, because I remember last year... Nice. Last year, me and Coda did a face-off of a Balloon Fighter. The same 
one of our videos for our uh, October of Arcade. We just did a whole bunch of arcade games for fun. And we did verses on this. If you want to see the full game in action, you can go watch that on the Lazy Dreamers channel. So, uh, yeah. Don't worry. I'm not going to advertise that again. I don't need to. Just wanted to get the point out there that my co-op channel is still alive. <laughs> Even though our weird upload schedule doesn't sound like it. Times are rough. Especially when you're a college student closing in on graduation. You don't you don't have too much time on your hands. Well, yeah, of course I recorded this before I graduated. Jeez, what, do you think I'd be doing this as I graduated? Are you insane? In fact, I... Spoiler alert, I finished both the games I'm playing right now before I did this. So there. Eh. You know what, maybe I should try to not think about that and just... Whoa, hey! Oh yeah, I guess I forgot to mention. This is the game where those little flippers are from. For you Smash Brothers players. Oh, damn it! He poked my balloon down. I guess I should have a little disclaimer. Don't expect me to be good at these. While I have th at least three stars on every mission and rainbow stars on a lot of them, don't expect for a second that I'm really good at any of these games. I mean... I guess I could say I've gotten good at, the, at this game because of the pra times I've practiced, but... Oh, wow. Oh, see, it even tells you the bottom left corner. The number of stars you receive is based on your clear time. Wow, I am just shifting my focus everywhere today. Jeez. Oh, last mission. Oh, God, pop 20 balloons on this. Oh, uh, I was not ready for this. Oh, no. Oh, Jesus. But, yeah, I... As much as it may seem like it, I am not that good at these games. Oh, God, no. Ah! Case in point. In fact, it's probably been a couple months since I've done these. Because I have been trying to play bit by bit to not only increase my ranks, but move my way on to getting the last of the stamps, and oh, Oh god, the fish almost ate me. Huh, I shocked myself to death, so... Yeah, I guess I can only have myself to blame. Oh, jeez. Uh, this is the mode that I first played when I did Balloon Fight for my very first time. I love this mode! Jesus, I suck today. <laughs> ah. If only I was old enough to be around for the starting days of the NES. Damn it! But... My main bit of memory didn't start kicking in till. Uh. Damn it! Well, I'll just say this much. My memory didn't really start kicking in till the SNES era, which, since I didn't have a Super Nintendo, well. Yeah. I was playing NES games long after they were done. Although, when I was. Four, I was able to get to World 5 of Super Mario Bros. 3. Not bad for a four-year-old, right? Ah, damn it! I shouldn't get distracted. Okay, another thing I rule I'm making. If I fail something three times and the challenge is straightforward, I'll just stop. So I don't have to keep failing. Ugh. If I fail three times and the challenge isn't made clear enough, or like everything hasn't been seen or whatever, Damn it! I'll just, you know, do one of my cutaways to when I actually complete it. Wow. 
Wow, I am the worst. Maybe this wasn't a good day to start this. <laughs> uh, God. Stromboli and me doing LPs are never a good ingredient. Damn it! Okay, I'm done. Okay, we'll just pop 20 balloons on that thing. I was trying to rush so I couldn't do it. But if you got all of them, the, like the first ones you could do, yeah, you would get the rainbow stars, probably. <laughs> Somebody commented, like, Dark Souls? Come on, it's not that bad. <laughs> Jeez, you're exaggerating a bit, aren't you? Okay. Hmm, why don't we do one that's a little short? Let me think. Hmm. Since I have time, I want to do a whole other game. Let's do Donkey Kong Jr., shall we? Ah, uh, Donkey Kong Jr. This game, of course, I heard about before I even got this, but... Not to say I knew what it was about. Well, I actually did know what it was about, so I guess I'd be lying if I said it like that. But, uh, yeah. Interesting little thing for people who didn't know. This is the only Mar This is the only game where Mario's a villain. This game is famous for that fact. It's a sequel to Donkey Kong, after all. After Donkey Kong was a dick to Mario, or Jumpman, as he was still referred to, he was like, oh, well, I'm gonna capture him now. That's what he gets for stealing my girlfriend, who I don't really care about anymore. Well, definitely not as good as the original Donkey Kong, you know. It's... It's good enough in its own right, I suppose. I mean... I guess I should mention that now. Don't expect all the games in this collection to be good, because they're not. There are some ones that are... While memorable, not exactly as fun as some people would want to believe. Oh hey, I'm at the final stage already! This is one of the hardest games for me to get all the rainbow stars, because I sucked at these. But... Oh, you get to see the end of the game, too! I saved you, Dad! Wow, they're so lazy, they even kept the same death animation for Jumpman there. Like, really? Come on! Real with that. Oh, this is 8.8 .8 seconds. So yeah, if you're expecting me to talk about this game, sorry, I I, I have nothing to talk about in, in regards to this game, because, uh... Don't really care much for it, not gonna lie. Ah, crap! Oh yeah, so you can also restart if you want to, you know, go for your rainbow star or whatever. Ow! So you know what, I'll do that just for the heck of it. So yeah, if you want to reset in case you screw up, there you go. Okay. Yeah! You ran into it, you little bastard! Now that's Rainbow Star performance right there! Yeah! That's as perfect as I was hoping it would be. Ugh. Jump over enemies ten times. Uh. Uh, oh, okay. Oh no, you're sending another thing at me, aren't you? You dick! Another one? Jumpman! Calm down, you crazy bastard! You don't need to kill me like that! I regret nothing! Oh, I wanted to die! Damn it, I wanted to throw that little miniature gorilla off a cliff! Damn you, game! You stopped me! Oh, I was a little faster. Ugh. I'm really not looking forward to doing, like, half of these games, but... Oh, a whole stage now! That's interesting. Oh, yes! Long Falls! Ugh. Thank God we didn't do this when we did our arcade thing on... On frickin' October of last year. Ugh. I don't think either of us would have wanted to do this one, because this game, I am not a fan of it. I mean, I love the original Donkey Kong. This and Donkey Kong 3 were, eh. 
But you know, I really enjoyed the Mario vs. Donkey Kong original game. Then once the mini started getting involved, I stopped liking it. <laughs> Don't ask why, that was just how it happened. Oh, this one sucked getting the rainbow stars. This one sucked ass. No, no! I just discovered something I didn't do the one last time I did this. Or no, I think I did do this now I think about it. Oh, crap! Yes, I'm trying to go for the double kill here. Damn you, you stupid sparks. How about you eat my cherry? Yeah, I must have done that. I must have. There's no way I would ignore such a glorious opportunity. Hmm. How about you? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, well, I just have to complete it. I don't care about... Getting perfect. Ooh, I almost died too. Whew. God, I hate this game. <laughs> Thankfully, it's almost over. Because since game, this game's really small, there's not too much to do with it. Now to do the full final stage. Save Donkey Kong for the clutches of Mario. With a lack of pleasure, sir. Oh! Now, I'm sure you guys can understand the, uh, the, the climbing mechanic. Oh, going down on one chain lets you go fast. And going on one chain lets you go fast down and slow up. While going on two chains lets you go fast up and slow down. Yay! We're finally done Donkey Kong Jr. That should do it for this episode. I got two whole games knocked out. I forgot there were some small games in here. But, eh, at least it gives good variety. Alright, good. We got Donkey Kong Jr. and, uh, Balloon Fight taken out. So, uh, yeah. It was a fun time. Oh, yeah, each game also has an instructional video for you in case you, uh, want to learn how to play the game. Which, you know, not that hard. Anyway, come back next time. Next week, and we will tackle more games in the NES Remix. Which, uh, by the way, I guess I could say this now. If you're looking for what's remixed about it, that'll be for late. I'll do these last. I'll let you see what each game has to hold, and then we'll go on to the true gold of this. But don't worry, we'll get to everything. I promise you that. Maybe not in one whole session, but, well, we'll see. Take care. <laughs>